Hello everyone, my name is Belle. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, high resolution groundwater data for the validation of a global hydrological model. It's an investigation of water gap performance over prawns. And this is a, a work, a joint, work, joint project among Hafen City Universities in Hamburg and University of Gren and uh, GFZ in Potsdam and University of Bonn. And this is a part of the, our global CDA project. The research question of this study is how can we validate what the gap modeling result? So how to answer this question? We evaluate its performance by comparing it with the with the real world data. We have collected 4,000 boreholes in France. We have cleaned it. We have cleaned, normalized, and interpolated the borehole data. And we have chosen January from, 2000, uh, from, uh, from January 2003 to December 2016. Since the it's similar it's similar to grace period because because the ultimate goal is to assimilate grace data into our hydro, hydro uh, into our hydrological model. And uh, we have chosen six river basins. Uh, water gap is a hydrological model which simulates continental freshwater globally, apart from Antarctica. The spatial resolution is 0.5 times 0.5 degree, and the temporal resolution is one month. So here I will show you the groundwater borehole uh, groundwater borehole distribution in France. We have cleaned it, and we also we only we, we only want to keep the unconfined aquifer since it has stronger natural variation. So in the end, we only have 1,765 unconfined groundwater boreholes here, as you can see. And I will only show the results from this, these three basins. So how can we make uh, groundwater borehole data and water gap comparable? So we have the head variation from groundwater borehole and times the porosity from Gleason in 2014 and times the water density and we will have the water gap unit. And what does this unit mean? This unit means uh, one kilogram water on one meter square area is one milliliter. And this is called equivalent water height. So let's have a look of the equivalent water high of a in Garong, the La Garong Basin. Um, so La Garong Basin, uh, we can see the four signal, the correlation between groundwater, the blue curve, the, and the water gap is high even after remove the climatology, the residuals. However, the amplitude seems a bit smaller for water gap. So I calculated the scaling factor and applied it. And uh, I'm, since we are also interested in grace, I we also calculate the correlation and plot the the the, the time series of grace. Um, we also calculate the correlation here. And uh, the next basin, La Seine basin. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that La Caron basin uh, has the best performance uh, in terms of correlation among all the six basins. And La Seine Basin has the lowest correlation among all the six basins. So we can see that um, the scaling factor between between the scaling factor is 2.5, and the four signal the lowest, the lowest it still has uh, 0.65. And the next basin, La Vilan, this is the smallest basin among all the six six basins and although it's small it's still very has really really high correlation and however um, for grace it's uh, it's not that high the correlation is not that high because uh, probably grace is not able to see so many details in the small basins and the scaling factor for this basin is also the highest it has 5.6 uh, Okay, this it comes to my last slide. The conclusion is uh, water gap you uh, generally performs very well and captures the seasonal, season, seasonality and the phase very well, but uh, generally underestimate the magnitudes. And the outlook is we are hoping we will compare um, we will compare we will assimilate grace and into water gap and then use the same data set the, the same data set to validate and hope uh, calibrating and assimilating would improve the performance. So this is my presentation. Thanks for watching.